Hello guys, today we learn how to consume web API using HTTP client with gate method. For this you have required Visual Studio 2015, SQL Server 2012 or higher version. HTTP client in .NET 2.0 included that the web client class to communicate the web server using HTTP protocols. Web client have some limitations. So, point, .NET program 4.5 includes HTTP client class to overcome the limitation of web client. Here we, we will use HTTP client class in console application to send data or receive data from the web API which is hosted on our local IS web servers. It may be a production server or live servers. You may also use HTTP client in other .NET applications such as MBC web application, Windows form application, Windows service application, and etc. For consuming the uh, web API, we must need to know the web API URL, method name which method is used and sample data to convert it into objects and after that it will go in database or using on fly whatever you can use after consuming the data you can see here web api url is given http localhost api imply list to get the list of all implies here method name use is get method and sample data like imply and imply id name and salary there are four records collection of imply in a organizations so web api get method and sample data will given so our main aim to consume the web api so let us start open visual studio file new project here we have considered console applications and name of the application i have written get method http client and put the name here put the locations web api location and click on ok button so your console application will be created like one class program wired main string or now I will make a function and in function we write the code to consume the application web API. Let us see. Like I have put a method name consume web API dot wait and define the method name here. So I have defined consume web API dot wait and implementation of this method here async task consume web api now see one by one now let us see i have defined where client new http client uh, there is no space found so need to add the name space i have added system.net http so this will be added after that i have to need need, the, need to add base address client dot base address equal new uri http localhost 57489 adding the default header to accept clear client default request header dot accept dot clear after that we have added the media type header so application json client dot default request header dot accept dot add new media type with quality header value i put here application json so also need to add namespace for this so click here hello and add the namespace system.net.http header now i have to send the request so i have defined http response message make a object http response message including the status code and data for requesting so i make a object response await client dot get asyncs and name of the method name like api employee list so getting 
putting here method name and that is the base api url so after combining it will give the list of employee in the response now i have write a code respond is success existed code means if get the response it will okay and message with 200 and after that we can see here so first we need to add so you can see dynamic results await response dot content read as async read as string async read as string async serialize the http content to string as a essay coronas operations so results here we give the we get the results response from in the result variable after the getting the uh, response we need to deserialize we know we get we have got the sample data in the json format so also we need to make it object so first to copy this json structures go to your applications and put cursor here after that go to edit menu and paste special then paste json as class so it will directly make the public class like public employee employee and employee in team employee id name early so we know already know employee the collections we get data in collection format so simply we can write here list and employee we can convert it after that we know Sally in decimals so put here converted in decimals so that object is created from json through the visual studio with the special paste methods and go here so you can see here this once is success then data will if we get the status code okay they need to read the data so we will read the data from this response dot content dot read as string async this way select the http content to string as a async coronas operation and after that response will store in the variable result and then i have need to convert in a csr object so already we have created csr object from the json so they i need to add here newton sort for deserialization of json string so go to tools net get net get package manager and click on this after that go to browse and simply put here newton soft check this project and install newton soft json 12.0.3 will be added in this project to use serialization and deserialization so this is a simple so go to programs and name the add the name space for this newton soft json so here we can see results after that deserialize object root object that result will be converted into object using this class like class root object i have made a list imply make object imply and imply list like imply id name and sally now run the application and see the results now where client before running the application we see whether data is coming is coming or not through the provided web api url and method get so that's it. that is our full web api go to postman for checking put here url and need to push put here 
get method and click up the send applications so you can see here data will coming from the web api so need to test it is either it is coming an data from our developing uh, program so done the application start and now click line by line f10 where client base address client adding here media type header application json see here application json and here sending the request and getting the response see here we get the response status code 200 response fresh okay means response is status code okay then it will go here after that it will read the data from the http through the read existing async methods extension method so after reading you can see results it will give the results like this way so you can see imply imply id name their salary imply name their salary that is a collection imply and that is the root root up root object of json so already we have defined this context in a c sar object so data will be coming in the root object so now run the f10 and click here see and see the result it will come or not go root object we can see there is imply count 4 after that we can see in zero index berlin 106 to 20000 get the imply first then second then third and fourth one that is raw data means we get the data in the root object from the web api through the http client methods uh, our need to now we need to assess the imply and it is collection so i have to show in the console application so like i have defined for each loop where item in root object dot imply and console dot write line zero tab one tab two and i have put here imp imply item imply id item dot name item dot sally this will display the data in console applications after running so also you can see items like imply id name and sally we're getting the data it will run four times because you get the count four and click now continue so you can see here the, the data 106 berlin 20 107 110 150 means finally we get the data from the web api using the http client thanks for watching if you want to view more videos please subscribe my youtube channel